Hello, welcome back. This will be the segment for all about the camera, the types, uh, parts, photographic components, maganon. So let's right to it. So camera, what is a camera? It's a light tight box with an optical system at one end and image support at the other. So uh, if it records uh, through the light with the use of lenses, film, and a box, that's a camera. So there are many types of camera. So, pero if we we must uh, discuss first the origin of camera. So, noon merong camera obscura. So actually, obscura means uh, a dark room. So camera obscura was actually invented by Alhazen. Uh, it started from a pinhole camera, a uh, pinhole 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 camera wherein uh, there on a room on a dark room you put you put a certain hole on the wall and an image will on that pinhole an image will flash on the uh, opposite side of the dark room but the image is actually rever reversed so parang ganun yung pinhole eh, which the camera obscura was originated from that through Mr. Alhasen even I cannot uh, spell yung other name ni Mr. Alhasen so ganyan sa so first picture so ayun at ginawa nilang ginawa nilang box camera camera from pinhole camera to box box to camera obscura na naging meron ng sariling box. And meron din yung camera lucida. So, they use a prism naman dito para mag-drawing. So, yung image dun, mapupun yung light mapupunta sa prism. Tapos, yung prism, ibababa na yung image. So, they can trace yung image. And there are types of camera. May box camera wherein it is on a box. Literally. Ayun. Merong pinhole camera. Yung sinabi ko kanina. Ganyan. In the dark room, may pinhole na binutasan. May folding roll camera. Ayan. May bellows. Itong nag -fo fold na to, that is a bellow. And yung lens niya is detached from the box itself and may ganyan. May rangefinder camera. Yung unique feature dito sa rangefinder camera is may sarili siyang pagtignan uh, ng image. So, di ba, yung common na camera ngayon is yung reflex camera wherein yung lens mismo, makikita mo yung image dun. Yung may, may parang one na lens siya. Tapos, through that, makikita mo yung image. Pero, may mga cameras na rangefinder. May rangefinder na feature wherein separate. Hindi sa lens mismo makikita yung image. Kundi sa isang lens din. May naka-install din na may na rangefinder. Same with actually a viewfinder camera na may sariling pagtignan ng subject. So, ito yung sinasabi ko kanina, reflex camera. Uh, yung nakakapture ng lens mismo, yung isang lens, dun mismo mo, mo, makikita yung subject sa parang peephole ng camera na yun. Pag, uh, <laughs> merong two kinds, may single lens reflex camera and may twin lens camera. Yung pinagkaibahan naman is single lens is isa lang talaga na lens. Yung twin lens may dalawa. So, through that one, may ito yung yung la, yung for, siguro yung pinakalas is the it is the lens where they capture yung image. Pero yung ito, yung on top, ito yung uh, it is where you see the subject. So, sometimes, uh, mali. Yung nakikita mo dito sa twin lens camera, rangefinder camera, and viewfinder camera is that 
mali yung nakita mo at mali rin yung na-print na positive image ng uh, kung in, ginamit mo yung rangefinder or viewfinder or yung twin lens camera. I hope you understand that. Single lens camera, ito yung yung common na ganito. So, ito yung sinasabi kong isang lens lang. Dito, uh, th this lens will be used to form an image on the negative film. Yung, yung film mismo. At dito mo rin siya makikita yung image, yung sinabi ko. So, may prism siya sa on top na makikita mo dito. So, nag-reflect dito yung image sa lens. Ayun, may may nag may nagganon na lens. Tas ayun, tas ayun. Di ba? Sa range finder, hindi siya walang walang prism dito, walang ganyan. So, um may ibang setting din yung range finder or view finder. Yung twin lens naman, hindi siya ganyan, kundi may isa pang lens sa baba para doon makikita mo doon ma-develop yung film gets ba ayun meron yung view camera view camera is usually day is the largest basic camera of the basic camera types ito yung yung second picture ito ginagamit sa studio it's also called that studio camera yung uh, na produce niyang image size is 5 inches by 4 or larger Meron din yung viewfinder wherein may separate feature siya ng viewfinder. Separate from the lens na pagtitignan to view the subject. So, ito. Ito. Uh, ito yung viewfinder. Yung nasa left side niya. Hindi ito, dito mo makikita yung subject. Hindi siya nakakonect sa main lens. Single-use camera, ito yung kung may five, for example, 500 shots lang. Eh, 500 shots lang yung buhay ng camera na to. Meron din yung instant camera. Yung pag picture mo pa lang, may madedevelop ng positive print. Positive print, ito yung final na print na may color or may black and white na color. So, Polaroid camera. Yung pinakaunang commercially uh, available na instant camera is the land camera. Ito. So, yun. Ito yung ginaganon nila sa movies, di ba? After nilang i-develop. And meron din yung compact camera or instamatic camera. Ito yung uh, yung sarili niyang yung sariling parang nagfo-focus. Yung automatic na nagfo-focus siya. Kaya naging point and shoot kasi. Pag nilagay mo lang to sa isang subject, automatic magfo-focus siya at ipapicture mo na lang. Yun. Meron din yung miniature. Uh, actually, siguro ginagamit niya nila sa surveillance cam or mga mga for surveillance work or police work. Ini-install nila sa isang room, etc. para makita yung mga tao na nandoon. So, yung mga size na ginagamit na film sa miniature camera is 8mm, 9.5mm, or 35mm film cartridges. Ito yung may yan. Maka? Maliliit. Ito rin yung ginagamit ng mga hotel, uh, nung nagmamayari ng hotel para i-capture nila yung pa, siguro pag nag, uh, nag-take about yung babae especially. Meron din yung this camera. Ayan. Hindi ko alam. I don't know how this works. I-search nyo na lang. Pero it doesn't really. Well, hindi na uso ngayon to. So, buto tayo sa photographic components. One of the components of photography is the subject. So, ano ang subject? It is your main focus in uh, using a uh, camera. So, it can be anything. It can be seen, it can be photographed, just as there must be a light to form an image. There must be a subject from which to form the ca the image. And, syempre, yung camera, one of the photographic components. So, one of uh, the basic parts of the camera is, number one is the body itself. 
So, kung saan nakalagay lahat ng parts ng camera. That's the body. Second is the shutter. Shutter ito yung nag-close. Nag-close. Meron yung lift shutter. Kaya, saan kaya? Lift shutter. Ito mismo yung sa harap ng lens dito. Sa harap ng dito. It is located in the lens wherein ito yung nagaganon. Yung nagaganon na lift shutter camera. At meron yung folding film plane cam film plane shutter na nandito naman sa bandang uh, film na uh, nagaganon siya or nagaganon. I hope you may imagine ninyo. Another is the lens itself or yun. Yung lens actually, hindi yan hindi yan hindi yan yung lens lang na isa lang na lens. It's actually a group of lens. Ano lenses ba yung tawag pag marami? So, parang uh, it is actually the object objective yung tawag nila dito pero parang tinawag nating lens kasi sikat. So, the aperture, the aperture is the parang yung butas. Yung butas na yung butas sa camera wherein the light will will go. So, shutter. So, actually um the shutter uh, sinabi ko may dalawang type, may uh, may leaf shutter, may focal plane shutter. Leaf is located at the front. The focal plane is located at the rear, near the film. Yung shutter, meron actually, may speed yan. So, it is actually measured in this one. B, valve, pag open, pag hindi siya nag, uh, nag, nag move. 1 is 1 second. 2 is half second. 4 is... 140 seconds. So, the higher the number, the faster the shutter. So, bulb open yan. 1 is 1 second. So, actually it is uh, it is measured in a fraction kaso yung nilagay na number is ganyan. For easy memorization. Gets ba? So, 1 1 divided by 1 so, 1 divided by 2, I think. Yeah. 1 divided by 4. 1 fourth. 1 eighth. 1 fifteenth. 1 thirty. 1 sixty. 1 1 twenty-five. 1 two fifty. 1 five hundred. 1 one thousand. 1 over 1 thousand. So, ganun ang shutter. Meron din yung aperture. Ito yung... Yung butas na yan, that is the aperture. Itong black na to, actually yan yung lift plane shutter. Oh. Lift shutter pala. Lift shutter. Yung aperture, actually, minimeasure din yan kung gano uh, gano kalaki, gano uh, uh, yun, kaliit. So, the lower the num the higher the number, yun, lumiliit. The lower the number, lumalaki. So, the shutter, the, the higher the number, the faster it is. Sa aperture, the higher the number, the smaller it is. The lower the number sa aperture, the, ha, the, the bigger it is. Sa shutter, the lower the number, the slower it is. So, F20, F28, F4, F6. Ayan. f F yung parang term, parang nilagay para makita na aperture. F yung ilalagay. So, F number. Ito yung yung mga settings ng aperture. F stop kung, kung, kung saan nalagay yung kung saan nalagay yung setting. So, for example, nilagay mo sa F4 or F5.6. Ganyan. So, yung F stop is F5.6. So, meron din actually uh, mga semi-automatic na camera. Uh, so, parang parang XRM yan. Uh, kung alam nyo na 
semi-automatic, semi-automatic na parang may combination ng manual at may combination ng automatic. So, hindi siya parang... Paano ba yan sasabihin? <laughs> so, ayun. Aperture pa erity. A function or shooting mode of a semi-automatic camera that permits the photograph to preset the aperture and leaves the camera to automatically determine the correct shutter speed. So, aperture priority. Kapag sinet mo, yung f-stop mo is f2.8, 2.8, uh, automatic na yung camera, iseset niya sa isang certain na setting ng shutter speed. For example, ilalagay niya sa shutter speed na 500. Gets ba? Sa shutter priority naman, kapag set mo yung shutter speed uh, na siguro 1,000, ilalagay niya ang F 2.8. Automatic. So, that is for shutter priority. Now, let's go to the So, didiscuss ko muna yung mga different terms. Baka siguro, baka kasi taunungan niyan sa board. Meron yung tinatawag niyang depth of field. It is the zone of acceptable sharpness or the area or zone of a photograph from front to back which in focus or the range of distance in a scene that appears to be in focus. So, it is actually the distance between yung naunang object na fo in focus sa pinakalas na image or object na in focus. Pinakalas na in focus. So, ganyan yan. So, if it is a narrow depth of field, ito, the bear, yung focus point, has to the grass, has, kung ganyan, narrow depth of field yan. Pag large depth of field, so, sa grass dito, to the, uh, background na uh, hill, it has a large depth of field. So, di ba? Sabi ko is the distance between the um, object na in focus, ito yung grass to the last, where it's the, it's the hill. So, that's the depth of field. Ano naman ang focal length? So, focal length actually is the distance It's the distance between the optical center of the lens to the camera image sensor. So, ito. Dito, ito yung optical center. Dito, nagmimit lahat ng light. Kasi, lens refract lights, di ba? It bends light into a center. Dito. Kung ito yung point ng convergence at i- may measure mo kung saan nanggal kung saan yung film which actually is the sensor uh, it is where the film is located um, yan is the focal length it's ba it's and it is uh, measured in millimeters ano naman ang hyperfocal distance So, sabi dito, technically, it's the distance between the camera and the hyperfocal point. So, sabi dito, it's the focusing distance where we achieve the maximum depth of field. So, when we focus our lens on the hyperfocal distance, everything from half of the hyperfocal distance out to infinity is going to be acceptably sharp. You can use uh, hyperfocal distance. Calculator or chart to calculate the hyper focal distance according to your camera, full length, and aperture. So, uh, so it is. Uh, so, for example, you set your. So, ano yung infinity? Dito ba? You set your. So, hyperfocal distance, it is the distance between the camera and the hyperfocal point. Hyperfocal point is the point wherein uh, that, uh, yung pinakaunang object na, na clear or sharp if yung lens is uh, naka-infinity mode wherein kapag naka-infinity mode yan, sharp lahat. Medyo yung... 
maraming magsha-sharp na objects sa uh, maraming mag clear or magsha-sharp na object sa camera mo. So kung kung ano yung pinakaunang nag-clear na object yung nearest sa camera, yung distance from that hyperfocal point to the camera that is the hyperfocal distance. Get sana. And there are uh, other parts ng camera, yung flash unit, flash bulb, electronic flash, cube flash. Uh, equipments, yung tripod, ano, ilan yung stand ng tripod? Tatlo. Bipod, dalawa, camera stand. So, yung parang yung essential function ng camera is for surveillance, public police public relation, presentation, preservation ng evidences, entrapment, reenactment, and police communication. So, another photographic component is the uh, hindi, part ng camera is the photographic lighting. So, alam natin na lighting is crucial in photography, di ba? Lalo na dito, uh, I'm on the uh, medyo gabi na, so kailangan ng, ko ng light. So, yun. So, there are different types of lighting. Meron yung tinatawag nilang backlighting. Backlighting, siya is nagpro-produce ng silhouette. So, ano ang silhouette? Ito yung black na image ng boy at ng girl. So, hindi yan, backlighting is not used in forensic photography because it is only used in artistic uh, artistic photography. So, it causes flare. Yung flare na yun is yun yung nag, yung excessive light tulad ng sun na yun. Side lighting. So, we all know that side lighting, pag yung uh, for example, ito yung object, ito yung light. So, pa-side siya. So, when using side lighting, it's actually, it produces yung details ng evidence as tulad ng footprints. So, isa side lighting mo yung evidence ng footprint para magpakita yung length. Magiging 3D yung footprint na yun. Ayun, so side lighting yung ginawa. Bakit kaya side lighting? Sinabi ko, ayun, nag, nag shadow yung sa, medyo side, nag ganun yung lighting niya, side side front lighting the sun is in the back of the photographer so it is shadowless ito yung usually ginagamit sa uh, um, forensic photography so uh, we will now discuss yung natural kung ano yung type ng lighting na pre-produce naman ng sun meron yung bright sunlight wherein it will produce strong shadow and usually it's na we cannot parang sa baba pinakababa natin nakikita yung shadow natin at black na black yung shadow natin pag hazy sunlight naman when the sun is covered by thin lights and medyo bluish yung uh, surrounding natin so yun dal sunlight naman totally covered by thick clouds naman. No shadow sarcas due to the uniform illumination of lights. So, yun. Meron ding open bright sunlight, under the shade bright sunlight, hazy sunlight, cloud, bright sunlight, cloudy. Ah, saan na ba tayo? Ah, bright sunlight and cloudy bright sunlight. And the photographic filter. Filter, ito is nilalagay mo siya kapag for example gusto mo lang gusto mong maalis yung mga yung flare maglalagay ka ng filter so ayun filter size millimeter so yung purpose ng photographic filter is to modify the color of light so kung gusto mong red lang yung mag makikit uh, ma-produce ng uh, for, for positive print may is lagyan mo siya ng red filter amount of light is reduced kaya some filter uh, ha refract light wherein they reduces the amount of light that is so example is yung 
mga neutral density filter na inaalis na yung flare neutral density ata we will discuss it don't worry the vibration of direction of the light rays is limited so some may mga lights din kasi na tulad ng glare na yung for example yung nakikita niyo yung ag shiny pag may makinis na kotse that is a glare i think na if you want to re reduce that you put in put a filter on it so ayun ito yung sinasabi kong pag gusto mo ng red lang yung ma mapaka capture maglagay ka ng red filter pag yellow uh, yellow filter yung lalagay mo yun so there are different filters may light balancing used to lower the color temperature of the light source may conversion uh, used in color photography when required adjustment of an exposing light so i-summarize ko lang yung mga filters pag light balancing it uses it used to lower the temperature of the light source pag conversion uh, to correct fill uh, it is usually used in color photography when a significant adjustment of an exposing light is required to convert the color quality of the exposing light the color temperature which a film is balanced color compensating to adjust the overall balance para mag para accurate yung color na makukuha mo so meron din yung mga special for purpose na filter may neutral density so it reduces the amount of light passing through a camera so basahin nyo siya so yung int intensity ng light babawasan niya so it appears in gray this may be needed for pictures of a brilliant subject so yun. may haze filter so yung haze di ba ito yung parang uh, yung motor vapor pag medyo uh, may fog may ganun may fog sa surrounding gusto mong mag photograph maglagay ka ng haze filter para mawala sila sa, pic sa film it absorbs uh, mga atmospherically scattered sunlight you know. meron ding polarizing filter it look like a gray neutral density filter so it reduces glare ito yung it reduces uh, eliminates reflection darkening blue sky so polarizing filter so usually ginagamit yan sa may traffic accident for example and you need a picture usually may mga shards of glass di ba and yung mga shards of glass nagbibigyan yan ng mga ref reflection yung ano ba yun diffuse reflection ba yun yung uh, kung, kung saan saan na nababounce yung mga light so medyo shiny sila to get that yung to get the actual na picture ng shards of glass lagyan mo siya ng polarizing para mawala yung tinatawag, tinatawag nilang glare may skylight din para hindi mare para ma-reduce yung bluish color ng sky so light pink yung color niya ayun so let's now go to the photographic lens a true lens is a combination actual uh, a true lens is a single piece of glass but dahil term kasi natin to ng mga photography parang sumikat siya kaya lens lang yung tawag pero yung actually na lens na ginagamit natin is an objective which is a combination of lenses so, the purpose of lens is to refract light raised to a sharp image. Camera lenses are designed to function with the least amount of error to reproduce objects in a practical object image size. So, camera lens is a polished spherical symmetrical glass that refract lights from an image of an object to a rear wall of the camera. So, there are types of single lenses. Meron yung positive lenses are convex on or both surfaces 
So, pag passive tablelands yung tinatawag, ito, may double convex na nagganon yung dalawa. Meron yung plano convex na curve yung isa, straight yung isang side. Meron yung convexo concave or converging meniscus na nagganon. Curve yung isa, pero inward curve yung isa. Meron din yung negative lenses wherein nagganon siya. Nag inward inward curve nag both side yun yung double concave pag isa lang yung nag inward curve at uh, straight yung isang side plano concave pag nag uh, ano ba uh, nag inward curve yung isa at nag outward curve pag ganyan that is the diverging meniscus or the concave convex Ayun. So, negative lens, it disperses the light. Pero, dito, sa so positive lens, it converges the light. So, classification of lens according its, to its focal length. So, mm, di ba? Yung uh, pag-measure uh, natin ng uh, mga uh, lenses through its uh, focal length. Yung normal lenses actually are uh, it has a 35 millimeter 35 millimeter measurement focal length. So thirty five to fifty mm pala. So normally uh, yung angle of view yung angle of view ng mga normal lenses is 45 degrees punta naman tayo sa macro lens, ito yung 35 pababa so ito ba macro lens ay hindi pala now, let's now go to the macro lens. Macro lens, sometimes called a close-up lens, wherein it is used for to capture yung malilit na bagay. Tulad nitong B na to, sa isang pollinating uh, plant. So, they have a higher focal length. So, 50 mm and higher. Pero yung angle view ni is narrower. So, from 45 degrees, pababa, pababa siya ng pababa. So, nakapaganan. Meron din yung ultra-wide angle lens. Ultra-wide angle lens is, uh, di ba, 35 yung normal. So, 35 mm, it, uh, they are shorter than 24 mm. So, those are ultra-wide angle lens na malit yung focal length niya, pero very wide yung angle of view. So, more than 45 degrees. Meron din yung ultra wide na 17 mm. So, pag 24 mm, uh, siguro 35 below to 24. That is a wide angle lens. So, angle of view is 60 degrees. So, palaki ng palaki. So, anong nangyayari sa image? na distort yan. Meron din yung telephoto. So, parang macro lens siya, kaso ito is may mas malaki pang uh, uh, mas malaki pang focal length. It's mas maliit na angle of view. It's used pag if you want to capture long distance. So, it's used in surveillance work. Mga ganun. So, ayun. Meron din yung fish eye. If the angle of view, so parang ultra wide angle lens pero mas worse pa, worser, na angle of view exceeding 100, sometimes more than 180, so nagadun na parang straight na straight na yung angle of view, parang ganun, that is fish eye. Makukuha mo lahat pero circle, nag distort yung center, uh, ganun. So tulad ng nasa picture. Meron din yung quasi-fish eye. 
uh, quasi fish eye produces an image in a film that covers the entire frame whereas a true fish eye lens has a circular image only within the film frame meron din yung variable focus lens a zoom lens one in which focal length is variable so variable focus lens or a zoom lens can be you can change the setting so kung gusto mo ng wide angle uh, may lalagay ka or hindi kung gusto mo ng telephoto igaganon mo lang kung gusto mo lang ng normal pababalik mo so that is a zoom lens or a variable so parang gusto mo ng 29mm lens ganyan mo lang 5mm parang may may mechanism to change the focal length Punta naman tayo sa lens defect or aberration. Ito yung mga uh, flow. Flow or mistake or parang disease ng lens. Ano ba yun? So, meron yung in astigmatism. Pag sinabi sa question na vertical or horizontal lines on the same plane, so inability to focus that, some lines is not in focus. So, yan stigmatism for example but is a coma naman if it's the image or a point of source cannot be brought into focus but instead a comet shape so if a focus hindi mo siya ma-focus yung image pero yung pinaka near na focus lang is nagpro-produce na ng comet shape is the yan so first picture no coma second picture with coma to parang may Ano ba yan? Yung tail ng comet. Parang ganun. May tail siya. Meron din yung curvature of field. And so, it caused by rays from the outer limits of the subject planes coming to focus nearer to the lens than the actual rays. So, there is a curve in the field. So, yan. So, ito yung planar object. Ito yung subject. Kinapture ng isang lens. Nag-curve yung sides niya. So, that is a curvature of field. Chromatic aberration naman, may two types tayo. May longitudinal or axial at merong lateral or chromat lateral chromatic aberration. So, chromatic aberration naman, it's also called chromatic distortion or sperochromatism is the failure of the lens to focus all the colors. So, nangyayari is May nag-violate, may nag-green. Ayun. Hindi na-focus yung colors kaya. Ganyan yung lumalabas. Punta tayo sa longitudinal. So, the lens cannot focus it on the uh, on the axis. The x-axis ba yun? So, the axis plane. Uh, lens axis. Oo. So, eto. Yung, re, yung blue napunta dito sa likod, yung red napunta dito sa likod, ah, sa harap. So, pag ganyan, that is a longitudinal uh, chromatic aberration. So, ito yung parang effect niya. Visible effect of longitudinal aberration. Ito naman pag wala. May violet, di, di ba? Purple. So, ganyan. Yung blue nasa likod, yung red nasa Ano, nasa harap. Ayan ay, silang nutrudinal. Ayan. Kaya, violet. Uh, imimix mo yung red at blue. Violet, di ba? Lateral chromatic. So, variation na magnificent sides. Uh, lateral dismiss of a color. So, yung ginagawa naman is, yung, ano ba yan? Horizontal ba dito? O, oh, yung vertical or yung lateral vertical ba dito o yung vertical naman na axis is nag separate yung colors so dito yung red dito yung green dito yung blue so yung itsura niya is yung second picture kaya di ba kaya may parang coma din na nag ganun yung uh, yung mga circle circle that is the lateral chromatic aberration meron din yung tinatawag nilang spherical aberration in a f variation in a focal length of a lens from center edge due to its spherical shape so 
uh, lahat ng yung rays ng light sa lenses hindi sila nag-focus dito sa point. So ganyan ang nangyayari. Spherical. Yung ma yung light rays hindi siya nag-focus sa isang point. Dapat mag-focus siya sa isang point. Ay yan yung nangyayari. Ayan, yung nangyayari. Meron din yung tinatawag nilang distortion. So, it causes the image to dapat, for example, yung subject is straight. Pero pag labas sa, sa positive print is nag-curve siya. So, may two types actually. May barrel distortion and may pincushion. Pincushion, pag nag-inward yung curve on all sides, barrel naman pag outward curve on all sides. So, that is an example of barrel distortion. Actually, barrel distortion nung nasa fish eye, di ba? Na distort dito sa pinaka center. Flare naman. So, actually, this, this is a flare. Pero in, hindi na control ng lens at ng aperture yung uh, light. So, it redo Ah, uh, yun. It's caused by very bright subject areas produces internal reflection on the lens. So, yun. Ghost images naman. So, if there is not a true defect daw, na if there is yung parang uh, aben, an image na parang human-like, pero <laughs> hindi siya human, that is ghost image. Ito yung parang may nak nakipicture na multo daw so that is a ghost image meron din yung diffraction hindi siya defect but uh, it is uh, it is a property of light wherein the light is bent as they pass a small opening or pass a sharp object edge diffraction red eye so Sometimes, di ba, nagre -re, pag mag-picture tayo, yung positive print niya is, nagre-red yung mata ng tao. Dahil kasi, uh, yung retina natin, I think, the blood vessels in the back of our eye is reflected. Kaya, naging red yung mata natin. So, yung blood vessels sa, uh, I think, sa retina. So, yan. So, may mga red eye reduction na features yung camera natin. And, there are types of lens according to the degree of correction. Simple meniscus lens, ito yung yung simple lens na may, do, may convex at mayroong concave. Positive or negative lenses. Meron din yung rapid linear So, it's a combination of two achromatic lens with almost the same focal length used to correct other defect, chromatic, spherical, but not astigmatism. So, yan. May distortion. Konti, di ba? Ito yung, di ba? Pag may ganyan, may, ayun, dahil naglagay ka na ng curvature of field, naglagay ka ng rectilinear lens, kinorect niya. Meron din yung anastigmatic or anastigmat. So, pinokorect niya yung astigmatism na aberration. Meron din yung achromatic lens. Na pinokorect niya yung mga ganitong um, mga ganyan gan, ganyan na lens aberration, lateral and longitudinal chromatic aberration. Uh, ano pa ba? And the process lens, super corrected lens for astigmatism, fixed focus lens. Actually, these are the lenses common sa camera na isa lang yung lens na ginagamit. Now, let's go to the photographic film. Ano ang film? This actually is the negative film. 
the negative na it is used to reproduce the positive print na for example, may camera ka nilagyan mo siya ng film may bala na siya, di ba? Uh, nag-photograph ka at na-record na dun yung photograph mo sa film na yun yung film na yun, ilalagay mo sa uh, sa isang bibigay mo sa isang studio para i-reproduce niya yung ginawa mo uh, pinikturan mo at actually pwede mo siyang yun lang ibigay mo para ma-reproduce yung kahit ilan or kahit basta okay pa yung film pwede mo siyang anytime i-reproduce so it is a transparent cellulose nitrate or cellulose acetate composition made in thin flexible strips or sheets and coated with a light sensitive motion for taking photographs so for black and white there are two two uh, three uh, three parts may top coating my emotion layer at my film base yung top coating it is on the top ito na ba yun Ayan, at the top to protect yung emulsion layer and it is scratch resistant emulsion layer naman dito na nakalagay yung mga different chemicals to record the light so it is composed of silver compounds so silver halides ganun to record yung latent images. Yun. Tapos, may mga film na may mga parang nami-measure din yung film. Kung gano sila, kung gano kabilis mag-record yung isang film. So, tinatawag nilang emulsion speed. At ASA, American Standard Association, DIN, Dush Industry Norman, and ISO, yung mga measurement. So, for example, if we want to record at night, you must use a high speed rated na film. Gets ba? Ayun. Emotion speed. At meron din yung film base na nasa the last part of the uh, yun last part ng uh, film so meron siyang anti-halation backing a black die applied on the rear para hindi baka kasi mag bounce back yung mag bounce back yung light eh di ba? may property siya kasi na magre reflect so may nilagay siyang anti-halation backing sa film base para maabsorb niya yung light Meron din yung color film. Yung kaibahan lang is, may blue sensitive layer, may green sensitive layer, at may red sensitive layer. To, call, to record yung mga, ano, to record yung mga colors. I will not uh, explain further. Ayan. So, there are films according to color sensitivity. May non-chromatic, non Sensitive to ultraviolet lights and blue-violet colors only. May orthochromatic, sensitive to blues and greens but not to reds. At meron yung panchromatic na sensitive to all colors and are further subdivided according to degree of sensitivity. Pero, non-chromatic, orthochromatic, and panchromatic is for black and white film. Yung black and white, yun, yung, yun lang yung pinoproduce niya na positive print. Hindi siya, wala siyang color. At yung infrared is used to record din or very sensitive siya sa infrared radiation. It's it's not used to record infrared radiation. Pero sensitive siya sa blues and infrared radiation. So it is useful in penetrating haze para mabali, ma, mawala yung haze. Yung haze device parang it was created through the moisture in the air. Yung fog, ganun. So it is used to is sa uh, kapag rainy day, pipicturan mo yung environment para makuha mo lahat yung gusto mong makuha. Yung color negative. So, what is color negative? Uh, 
uh, property ng ng film na yung color, especially sa color film, reverse yung uh, color niya. Yung ng negative reverse sa positive print. Yung actual color ng subject or yung positive print is reverse. At yun yung negative. Uh, which is the, the film. Color transparency naman. Ito naman yung 4D positive print wherein it produces the positive image. Color transparency refers to the positive print. And color uh, films comes with sizes. May 1110, may 126, 120, 135, and 220. 135, 435mm, 120, etc. Film speed. So, ito yung tinatawag ko. It is... Uh, actually, it is the emulsion speed. So, some are faster, it's more sensitive. Actually, it's, uh, it is the light sensitivity too of the film. It is measured by ISO, DIN, and ASA. So, ISO, pag ISO, ayun, 25 or less for best color and sharpness. Pag ISO 100 or 200 for general purpose, for ISO 400 for moving objects. So, ba, mas may bilis niyang may record. ISO 1000 for extremely low light condition. Gets ba? So, yun lang guys. Thank you for listening and have a great day.